Thank you very much. The uh, floor is open for uh, your questions. Go. Uh, can you just state uh, your name? Mm -hmm. So you take that out and put something else in. <laughs> Steve? So the so the debate has shifted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I wanted to reinforce this. You didn't see a package here. This was not a do this to get that. This is this is a book that tries to start the debate about a set of options that are all the way from tax increases, uh, uh, reductions in the ro rate of growth of benefits. Uh, targeted increases for vulnerable populations. So there really isn't a package here that's quote unquote short or not. It just that was just for simulation purposes. But basically, this is a range of options for debate. More questions? Thank you. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're saying that reducing benefits and raising the retirement age are 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 both right. could be construed as. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Um, no, I think that that's a, a fair characterization. Um, even with, I mean, looking at it from the context of, of survey methodology, um, the fact that one answer, though of three, um, still out, outpaces two other options, I, I think, testifies that, that there is a, a pretty strong, uh, a strong support for that. And testing it in a series, um, we also tested uh, some, some proposals in a series just to get straight. You know, that was a forced choice question. So of these three uh, different approaches, which would you prefer? Um, and I was jotting down some numbers while 
uh, Virginia was talking. Um, so let's say uh, raising the retirement age, uh, only 44 percent supported that proposal as a straight proposal. 55 percent opposed it. Only 19 percent strongly supported it, uh, while 35 percent strongly opposed it. Whereas increasing uh, uh, increasing the tax cap or lifting the tax cap, 83 percent supported, um, 16 percent opposed. Um, so. In general, um, regardless of how you test it, um, proposals that reduce benefits uh, fare rather poorly, get less than uh, majority support. Uh, proposals that increase uh, revenues, uh, particularly when it's coming from wealthier Americans, um, get very vigorous support. Question right there. Hi. It may be in your report that I can look at later, but did you ask any background information about what the people in your survey knew about Social Security? So whether they think it's all for retirement or whether they know about the other, like, disability benefits, other things of that nature? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a focus of our survey. Question right here. Good morning. My name is Andrew Imhoff, and my question is also for Mr. Franklin. Um, and through your surveys, I was wondering if you learned about any other disparities that would be of interest. You mentioned racial disparities. Um, what was what was striking, really, was um, how uniform some of these attitudes were. Other than other than income uh, and, and its effect on on uh, financial, uh, the sense of financial security and retirement, um, we saw generally. Pretty consistent uh, uh, support from a from a political perspective. Um, groups that are uh, of lower incomes typically are more insecure, and as a result, rely more on social security. Um, I think we can we can predict that. But in so far as ideology, um, uh, race when you adjust for income uh, and 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 age, uh, it wasn't a significant it wasn't a significant factor. Some differences along the way, but but. When you're getting numbers in the 70s and 80s, uh, you, you need to have pretty consistent support across many groups. Uh, just a mechanical note. Uh, the mics uh, don't work here in the room, so do speak up when you say your questions. The mics are working on the webcam, but fortunately we have a small room, so if everybody just sort of speaks up, that means all of us can hear you, and the mic will take care of the webcam. To that question. Do you have additional data that you're not, that's not in the report but that you would post? Because we're very interested in this, the, the, the point that you made about, um, you know, support crossing ideological differences, and yet it's only listed in one of the questions as far as I can tell. Um, and this is a point we'd like to be able to promote. Yes. Yes, we can. Um, we are doing getting further analysis done of the of the, the survey data and making it available. 